Ray Fern is 22 years old and has spent most of his life in bed due to a mysterious, untreatable chronic illness. He has zero social skills, but is incredibly articulate since reading is his only hobby. Ray's most alarming trait is that his left eye is colored teal and his right eye is colored amber. Glenn Logier is a teenage boy who has been Ray's caregiver for the past five years. He is fiercely loyal and loving to Ray, despite Ray's constant depression and complaining. Ray and Glenn live in a rural community called Intu, which is several days south of the sovereign empire, Janasu. There are tensions between Intu and Janasu because the empire, which is at the forefront of technological advancement, mandates all neighboring regions to update their technologies with new components in order to streamline communication, travel, and commerce throughout the lands. Ray's father, Lord Grant Fern, is Intu's chief diplomat, and he has a severe aversion to the Empire's technological revolution, and this results in the aforementioned tensions. Then we have Enforcer Rose of Janasu. She is a dignified and compassionate sentinel of justice, assigned to keeping the peace during the political discourse going on between Intu and Janasu. Through a dramatic chain of events, Enforcer Rose and Ray Fern come face to face. I won't spoil what happens, but I'll just say that she is the only person in the world, aside from Ray, with eyes of amber and teal. The Fern and the Rose was born from my innermost lifelong yearning for the future to be different and better than the past. I needed to believe that I could find freedom from an inner prison of depression, delusion, and addiction. Ray Fern became my avatar and metaphorical counterpart. Can he transcend his lifelong ailments and find out what it means to be alive? I invite you to come find out in the Fern and the Road.